we are now ready to install our Sierra software. So uh, this software is going to installation is going to be universal for uh, Spangle Elites, Pro Spangles, uh, embroidery machines, uh, and alike. So this is depending on different versions you have. We're specifically going to be covering the Design Era series, Hotfix Era, and uh, Stitch Era Liberty. Okay. So if you have anything else open, I want you to close it. If you've got your Spangle Elite software open, click the X in the top right. Um, if you just finished installing anything else, um, go ahead and close out, close all that out. I also want you to um, either temporary, temporarily disable your uh, virus or firewall, or um, make sure that you are going that when, as we download these software, you're going to give per proper permissions for this software to uh, run on your computer because it is a very niche particular software. Um, sometimes virus protection and firewalls can block this stuff and then it won't install right and it's not going to work and um, we don't want that, right? So, uh, and if any of that stuff is a little bit confusing or worrisome to you, you know, don't be afraid to ask for some help um, in your installation process. Get somebody that can help you out. Um, but in the meantime, it's pretty easy and most likely everything is going to be just fine. So let's go ahead and we need to go to user area. And while you're here, go get your box that came with uh, your equipment or the software you bought, uh, the design era. And it should be a square box. There's probably going to be, there might be a disc in there. Um, if you have a disc, great, you can install from the disc. But we're going to be downloading it um, from directly from their server. You're also going to have a red USB a hard key in there. That's what you need to be able to run the software. And you're also going to have a little card. And that card is going to give you three codes, a serial number a B code and a W code. You're going to need all those three numbers right now. We are going to click on download and install software and password. That's going to bring up this pop up and it's going to say use this as if you're first time installing it. We're going to go ahead and put in your serial number now, the one that's on that card. While we're doing that, I'll make sure your caps lock is on if it's caps or not. And also make a copy of this card write it down somewhere else, take a picture of it, install it on a backup drive or Dropbox or Google Drive or whatever it is, save this. So in case you lose it and you need to install it again later, you don't have to worry about you lost your original. So have a backup. Once you type these in, click Get Downloads. And I'm just going to start from the bottom up. I'm going to download the password. It only takes a second. I'm going to download the installation guide. And I'm going to download the Stitch Era installer. This is just the Universal Era installer. Um, so it's for all of the design eras, even though it says uh, Stitch Era here and you have Hotfix Era. It's all the same installer. And you'll see once we get to that section. Um, so what you can do to start, if you'd like, you can open up the installation guide. If you want to print this out or read along while we do this, or maybe you don't like videos and you prefer to follow it. Um, by written. Uh, there you go. You can um, you can pause this video and go through it that way and then finish watching if you have trouble. Um, know where this password file is, please. So hit show in folder. And mine is in the download folder. Know where that is. You're going to need to access it soon, okay? And you can run your downloader. If you don't have a pop-up on the bottom, maybe you're using a different browser. Um, you might It might just be in your downloads folder. It might have downloaded if you told it to download to your desktop. Whatever it is, run the software. And it's going to tell you it's ready to install it um, or ready to download some files. So go ahead and click on Start. This is going to download all the necessary, all the necessary files from Sierra's server. Depending on how busy their server is or your location, your internet connection, this might be really fast. I'm already 33% done. It might feel particularly slow if you have a bad internet connection. Um, so if it says it's going to take 20 minutes, don't fret. Just um, you know, go back to your machine and 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 you know, take a look at that stuff. You know, focus on something else. Um, write down a business plan if you don't have. If you haven't already done that, write down some good ideas. Um, check out um, our podcast. The um, caspodcast.com. You know, you can turn that on, listen, listen to that a bit, or or our Facebook group. 
custom apparel startups or just go to ColemanandCompany.com and look around. Um, if you've got a few minutes to spare um, and you've dedicated this time to installing and getting running, you might as well do a little bit of research for your business too. Um, so you can go to ColemanandCompany.com and take a look at products. You can uh, call your supplier at and uh, tell them, let them know you're installing software and see if there's any tips on any products you should buy to help get going. Um, or you can turn on a podcast and listen. But uh, either way, do something with this time. Um, I'm going to just fast forward through the rest of this so it goes by real fast. though. Now that our download is complete, we're going to go ahead and click on install. You may get a pop up. Is it okay to run this software? Um, you know, uh, Internet, uh, uh, Windows Defender, or something like that, telling you. Um, you should have disabled some of that stuff, uh, but Windows, generally speaking, is still going to ask if it's okay. All right, now I want you to go ahead and take that USB, that red key, and plug this in because it's going to prompt to do that soon. So we might as well just plug it in now so we don't have to worry about it then. So plug it in. You'll hear a beep from Windows. Not much else should really happen um, besides hearing the connection being made. You will see a little red LED light in the USB um, in the actual stick, though, blinking, or at least on. Click Next. Here's what I told you before, however uh, you can read through this, but it basically says that uh, the software is possible to get flagged as a virus or something. And, you know, more than likely um, McAfee or Norton isn't, you know, um, might not be familiar with this version of design error. It's just one of these things that can happen. So um, that's what they tell you about there. But I told you about that earlier. Okay. Next, it's asking us what we're going to install, Stitch Era or Hotfix Era. Remember before, I said it's both. It's the same, same installation process, depending on what key you have. I'm doing Hotfix Era. If you were doing Stitch Era, it's the same thing. But I'm doing Hotfix Era for this particular video, um, which is for rhinestones or sequin or spangles. Uh, it also asks, is it a live or a dongle? We've got a dongle. That's that red thing we just plugged in before. Now it's asking for that password file to load. Remember I said to remember where it went, and I've got this one installed in the downloads. It's your serial number, okay? The serial number that's right on the screen right there um, is the same as the name of the file. It'll say the serial number dash a couple other letters numbers dot SPP. That's the file you're looking for that we downloaded off the Sierra website at the beginning of this video. Go ahead and click Next. Choose a destination. If you want to change it, it's up to you. Um, it Design icons, that's up to you. If you want to change it, I just go with the default. And then um, and now it's ready to start going. It's letting you know kind of what's going to happen. If you need to change anything, now's the time to go back. Otherwise, click Next. This is the point in the software, again, where it's just going to take a few minutes to load. Um, so uh, go back to listening to that podcast or um, checking out ColemanandCompany.com or the Cold SE website or whatever it might be. Um, but this will should take not more than five minutes. I will fast forward through the rest just so you can not have to wait with me. But essentially, you're going to say this. It's going to say copying files. You know, it's going to... For, there might be points where it sits for a minute or two and feels like nothing might be happening, but things are happening and just be patient and um, I'll be back with you once this is all done. Okay, we've reached the end of the installation. 
Uh, at this point in time, it's going to say, yes, I want to restart or no, I'll restart later. Uh, just go ahead and choose yes. Um, and uh, then click finish and it'll restart and I'll see you on the other side. After your install and your reboot, you might get a couple little things finishing the installation, registering, things of that nature. And at that point in time, uh, you will, it will have completed the installation. All right. So we want to make sure that everything has been installed correctly. So what we're going to do here is I'm just going to go into the search and I'm going to search for hotfix era. OK, uh, I might search for design era. I might search for liberty, depending which one you have installed. Um, otherwise, just go ahead and go to your programs and your programs will usually highlight something um, that has been installed uh, recently. You know, if I go under all apps, it'll say new. And I can find. Right here, I've got my highlighted ones. I've got a couple highlighted here, but my design error right here, and then my hotfix error is there. But if you know you're installing hotfix, you can um, or Liberty, just type it in hotfix or Liberty or design error, and open up the app. You need to have your red key plugged in. Um, if for any reason when you were rebooting, it's uh, your computer said to you to unplug it or disconnect it or it wouldn't restart, just make sure you plug it back in. Otherwise, this step will not initiate. It will say key not found, and you're going to have to click cancel, plug the key in, and run it again. Do you agree with the terms? Um, you can read the license here. You would accept it here, and you can tell it to not ask you again. Yes, I accept. Hotfix Era 17, you might say Liberty, Stitch Era Liberty 17, uh, Design Era 17, um, whatever the specific comes up for you um, is not as important as it's going through this step right now with the splash screen and it tells you that you've got version 17 installed. This process, by the way, is basically the same for other versions. Um, if you happen to have an older version and you have not uh, upgraded or paid to, you might uh, find that it's very, very similar. Um, so now we're ready to go. Um, we've installed our software. We're, we've come up to our opening screen right here asking us what we want to do. And in further videos, we're going to talk about using the software. So thank you.